chair. So today we're doing a peacock inspired um, Halloween tutorial. Now there is a really easy way of doing this look um, if you wanted to and there's lots of other gurus have actually done it um, where it's just a pop of colour in the centre and it's kind of inspired by a peacock but I've actually decided to go for the full kind of um, little detail on the wings that they actually have, on the feathers that they have like this, um, I've done it on both sides and I have also done my eyebrows with um, a kind of metallic um, turquoise. So I really hope that you enjoy this look. Um, if you have any problems let me know and uh, just keep watching. Okay so I've already done one side and we are going to go on and do the other. I'm just going to close that door. Um, so first thing that you want to do is you want to apply your primer. Now usually you just apply a primer onto your eyelids. Um, I'm using the elf primer by the way because it's awesome. Um, but I'm actually going to do it this whole section here because we're going to go right up here. So all over the lid, right up to the brow bone and then you're going to bring it out here as well. So let's get started on that lid. So first of all you are going to take um, some kind of liquid or pencil in a blue. Now this is actually from Penny's. This is um, electric blue and it's the band of bold for eyes and it's basically like um, I think it's NYX or Barry M pencils, um, jumbo pencils, that's exactly what it's like and I've just got it in a nice blue colour. So we're first of all going to place this over the lid. Now you want to support the eye but you don't want to pull at it. So just support your eye so you're not moving it around too much. If you had a cream eyeshadow it would work as well but this is just a really easy way of packing on the colour. Make sure you also get right down to the lash line. We are going to take a dusty um, eyeshadow. This is Like Trust Dust. Um, I don't actually know the name but it's going to be in the box below because I'm going to find out what it is. Um, this is an electric blue as well. It's got some sparkle in it. The sparkle that's in it is actually a kind of greeny turquoise colour which is going to go with that um, peacock colour. We could use a pressed eyeshadow as well. It doesn't really matter. So I'm taking a flat brush and I pressed it into the lid just to make sure that it's not just going to fall down on my face. And now we're just going to pack it over that cream eyeshadow or pencil, jumbo eye pencil that you've already placed on there. And this just really intensifies the colour. And because we have the primer on there, it's going to prevent against too much creasing. You help, will have a little bit of creasing when it comes to using a cream base, but not too much if you use a primer. I'm just pressing this over like that. Now, I will say this, if you don't want to go for the extreme look, which I did that little detail work in the outward part of the eye, all you could do here is do a smoky eye over here, so just get a darker colour, start blending it in, but just make sure to keep this nice electric blue in the middle. That's if you want to go for a more subtle look. If you want to go for a more extreme look, then just carry on with the steps I'm going to be showing you guys now. Basically, your base. And now we're just going to go on and do the detailed work. Now, I actually wish I hadn't put my lashes on because I would love to show you guys what this looks like in its natural state so you can kind of get an idea of it. But um, it's okay because we're going to do it. Um, carry on doing it now. Um, so the first step to doing my little kick out at the edge is to take a um, green one, which is the green metallic one. This is in evergreen and it is exactly like the jumbo pencils. Um, that you can get from NYX. I hope it's NYX and not something else because but I'm pretty sure it is NYX. Um, I think other places do it as well. So we are going to create this shape out here. So we're going to create a little kick out, out on the outer edge. So you want to support your eye and you are going to slowly bring the colour up like this. Now if you want to do a very big kind of um, feather detail that I like that. If you want to do that slightly bigger, you want to leave your area to be slightly bigger as well. But if you're slightly more um, exact, then you can use a smaller space. But if you wanted to go for a little bit more craziness, or if you have trouble with trying to get your lines to be exactly the same, you can just do a totally different look on one eye. So instead of it going swooping upwards, you could have it swooping downwards so it comes down over the cheek area doesn't really matter. It's all up to your own kind of style and your own ability as well. Now we're going to take the flat brush again and I am going to take a little bit of that, the colour that we already had on the lid, 
but because we already have that green color underneath, it changes the color slightly. But you could also use a green, electric kind of greeny, turquoise color. Now I've also done the shape on the bottom part, which is right down there, so we are going to do the a bottom kind of kick out. But the, the bottom one, I'm actually going to support my eye again, the bottom one is actually a lot smaller in detail than the top one is. So that's just something to be aware of. Okay, so now we're going to do the little detail for the um, kind of the little shape that you get, which is kind of similar to my earrings. It's kind of that almost like a teardrop shape and then within it there's another teardrop shape. So I want to take a golden kind of color. I'm going to take it into an angle brush because you get the most kind of precision um, for this look. And I'm going to take a golden color, which looks like this. And you're going to place it like this, right in here. Place it that way so you get like a line going downwards. And then you can just do a line a little bit above that and circle it a little bit at the bottom. So it pretty much just looks like a blob <laughs> um, with a little bit of a point at the top. And you can also do this underneath. But I'm actually going to do just a nice dot in there instead of trying to make it look too precise. You're going to take a little bit of that blue again, the original metallic blue, and you're going to dot that right in the middle. And then you can do the same underneath. Now just to add a little bit more intensity to that little dot in the middle. I'm going to take a little bit of black. So we're just going to dot that right in the middle. I see how it just intensifies that shape so you know that it's there. Next you want to take that same golden colour again and I'm actually going to do this over my brow bone and then bring it down here like this. So you're filling in the whole gap that you have there. Only because it looks a little bit bare when you um, don't have any colour in there whatsoever. And you can also fill in here to sharpen up those edges so that they're more obvious. Okay, so for that little golden colour underneath, I actually took Foiled again, which is a um, another one by Pennies. This is a Tequila Sunrise, and it looks like this. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. take that same kind of color here that same golden light golden color kind of like yellow and we're just going to place it over that just to intensify it even more now you might need to do this a few times depending on how much pigment is actually in your colors and then I'm going to take a liquid waterproof liner this is aqua sparkle by Rimmel it's number 240 I take this on my waterline, which is right in here, and I'm going to really coat it so it gets it very, 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 very blue. And this is the perfect shade to go with our, um, our lid colour. Then I'm going to take that same foiled again colour in the yellow, and I'm going to coat my lashes in stripes. So I'm first of all going to coat the stripes down here in it, like this. And then you're going to take, I actually took a green one as well, but you don't actually have to do this step, I just did this for extras. What you can do is you can take um, the yellow all the way across. Now if you didn't have these two shades, that's totally fine. If you had a golden, a light golden um, eyeshadow, you could actually do the same thing. Mixing it with some clear mascara would get kind of the same effect. Then I'm going to take that liner again in the um, Aqua Sparkle. And I am going to draw that line that I did on the other side down here like this. And then I am going to take that golden tequila sunrise colour 
and do it right beside it. Okay, so now you have your eye makeup kind of done, and we're going to go on and do the eyebrows. Now you can leave the eyebrows out if you want to. It was actually just an extra step that I thought was kind of fun. Um, so I took that same um, shade in the jumbo pencil, and I basically just went over my eyelids and my eyebrows in this. I took my eyeshadow, that one right here, and I just patted this over it. And now it's time to add our false eyelashes. The false eyelashes that I have are actually my sister's. Um, but these are them right here. They are uh, ones from New Look. Is it New Look? Yeah. And they were quite expensive. They weren't cheap. I'm going to ask her how much they were and it's going to be in the box below. But they're so cool. I actually love them. And the glue that they came with is like the best glue that I've ever used. So it's almost worth it just to get them for the glue. Um, so I'm just going to put these on and then I'll be right back. So just to finish the look, I'm going to use a nude lip gloss super nude but very kind of um, metallic glossy nude color and there you go it is really really simple but definitely just go for it and kind of have a little bit of fun now there are so many different ways that you can actually take this look um you don't really have to go totally overboard you don't have to do this underneath here you don't have to do the brows you don't have to do the outer part of the eye you could just do a regular smoky eye but have that pop of color right in the center just to give it some kind of like um kind of let people know that it is more of a peacock look by using that peacock color. There's so many different shades um, out there that you can pick up that some of them are even called peacock because um, they have that kind of bluey, greeny kind of shade in it. Now you can also try and get some false eyelashes that have that kind of um, feathered look from uh, a peacock. I've actually seen a few. If I find them on the internet, I will put a link in the box below. And everything else kept very simple. I actually did my foundation um, a while ago and um, I just wore it for today and then I just did the eye makeup when I came back because I was just out. I just did very, very simple foundation, um, some powder over the top, and then I powdered my lips and everything before I put on the nude lip gloss. So if you have any trouble, just let me know. And um, I'm Shady Kitty. Thanks for watching.